we'll get a little bit more in this area right here. Pretty much a pretty good size streak of it. It's pretty good, pretty fair amount in this area. We'll have it move over this way a little bit. And down here some. And we're going to bring it all the way across here. Come down. This whole area is actually going to be darkened up some. Well, very lightly, we'll just darken it up some more here. Just like that. And then we're going to go straight into the black. We want a really good dark area right in here. It's going to be all really black. We need a pretty good amount of black in this area here. All the way over this way. Then it's a little bit darker, a little bit darker in here maybe. Okay, clean the brush off. And I think we need to have a little bit more blue right over here. Just gonna put some blue right in this area here. Just like that. Wash your brush off. Now we're gonna get some black. We're gonna make a grayish color. Get some white. Bunch of white. Make a grayish color. A little more black. We'll make a pretty good size amount of it. Because we're going to take, and we're going to bring this right in here. We're just going to kind of roll some of it in there a little bit. Over this gray. Some of it's going to be darker. Some of it will be grayer. There's different spots where the, the waves are going to be. But we're going to have something behind it so we can see them waves a little bit better. So I'm just kind of adding some of that in there. Probably may need some darker spots even. But for now we're going to make it kind of a grayish. Maybe even darker than that in some of these areas here. Like in here. It's going to be a bit darker in here. darker in here, right down into that blue, a little bit there, there we go, we can always add some more darkness in there if we need to, but I just want to make sure we got some paint in there for one thing. And uh, that helps give us a little bit of a prime for the block in for the oil to go over it. I'm just kind of spreading it out a little bit here and there. I want some darker and lighter spots. Just like that. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to do the same thing. way down around this way. All the way up. Just imagine them waves and the, the foam and everything coming off them. And so you know you need some darker and lighter and just like that. I want to make some of it a little bit darker. Darker spots here and there. Okay. 
Now I'm going to wash my brush and I'm going to take some of this yellow okra. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this burnt sienna into the yellow okra. I want it to be a bit darker. And all we're going to do is I'm going to start putting this shoreline in here with this same color. And it's, we're going to be darkening it up later on and stuff. We need some other colors in there too, but we just want to get a general idea where that shoreline is going to be. But there's only one other thing I'm going to have to do here before long, and that's uh, way about the end of where this foam is. In fact, we may just stop and do that in a minute or two, but <coughs> let's go ahead and put this in, even if it's a light coat. Just put a light coat in it. Like so. Keep in mind you're coming this way with the with the sand. And it's gonna be pretty light. There's gonna be a lot of white in here. We don't wanna get it we don't need to get it all this color because we're gonna have some white in here too, put a bit of white for the foam. Just kind of getting a basic color in there. We know this is going to be the foam right here, so. But we need something for the foam to, to be on, and that's the sand. down here and we can always punch in some of that color too later on if we need to I'm gonna put it right there and I'm going to wash that brush off for the moment and we need to do one more thing here and that is we're going to get some more of the black get some water in there with that black nice and thin Make sure you get a good amount of black in it in your brush in that ivory black. And what we want to do is, very carefully, we want to follow this line. And it's a little bit easier said than done, I know, but we're going to follow this line. And this line it's going to be end of where that foam runs in the into the beach, into the ground. Make sure it's good and dark. and wash your brush off. Alright, now we can go ahead and finish putting the rest of that sand in there. And that sand is probably, I'm going to make it just a tiny bit darker. Just a tiny bit. And this is actually going to get darkened up in here too, but we're going to go ahead and do this right now. All the way up into here. Just like that. Just kind of 
pull it out. Like that. It's a little bit wet, better than I probably should have had it, but I don't worry about it too much because we're going on it with oil, so. If I was just doing it in acrylic, I'd be worried about it, but I'd be a bit more concerned. I'd wait for it to dry, probably. Okay, now we'll just fill up this hole. A little gap right here. Making sure that that's all Get the lines coming out this way, where the shore is going to be. Just roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. Okay. Now we can take and start adding some, <clears throat> some of the white. Get the fan brush. Get lots of, lots of this white paint. We'll start up here. Very gently. Come across. You don't want to thin this one. Just keep this as thick as you can get it. Keep it straight. Come way up above. Rising a little bit right there. Fine. Maybe a few little touches here and there. Lots of paint. Maybe we'll put a few touches here and there. I think we'll use a smaller brush for that, probably. And we can use the corner of the brush, too. Like so. Sometimes you have to get it a bit flatter. To get where you want to be with it. You don't want too much there. You just want to put some waves here and there, back there, in the back. More white. And then I'm going to start taking and tap it in very gently about where I want the waves to be. Tap it up like that. Yeah, I'm probably going to need a lot more white. And this wave actually kind of comes all the way across up into here. We'll be adding some of them darker spots back in there too at some point. But we're just getting a general idea of where we want it to be. Kind of shaping things out a little bit here and there. Kind of crashes down into here. Up over here. along the side here. Give me some gaps in there we'll have to fill probably. I need some more white paint. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to make sure I'm getting a bit thicker on that paint. I'm not adding any water to this. I really want it to stick on there really well. 
Hopefully this video is not going to be too awful long. But it looks like it's probably going to be. Might need to let this dry a bit more, but we'll go with it and see what happens. <coughs> Try to leave some of them darker spots in there if you possibly can. to go with some of them other colors. There's a lot of different uh, waves going on in here. We may use a smaller brush for that, but we'll get the basic ones in here at the moment. Case. We want to get around the top of this one. It's not sticking really well, which I don't like very much. I want these to actually be a lot whiter. But A lot of those things, I don't want it to be too gobbled up with too much paint because when we get the oil going in there, I don't want it to be in the way either. Over here, we'll put some in here. Kind of a bit of a while I'm going on over here. Probably going to pop it in here. Be popping up on uh, this gray area too a little bit here and there where it's flashing. But we'll fix that later when we get to the other uh, colors. So I'm going to wipe that off. Wash it off rather. And then I'm going to use <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> a little bit bigger brush round it up at the top like this and we're going to get some more white then we're going to just start moving this stuff around a little bit here just getting the idea of about where we're going to be this should be dry and it's not so that's probably going to be a problem and I may just hold off on that part until we get to the oil but I kind of wanted to put some indications in the where I want this white to be, but it's not really dry enough to do that. But you can still add a little bit here and there, I suppose, to at least fill up the spots. This white here really is very, very thin for some reason. I'm not sure why. It shouldn't be what it is. Let's go ahead and put some here anyway.
I probably could get it to go on in with a knife, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just wait till it's dry, and then we get in there with the oil, and we'll fix the rest of it. Main thing right now is I want to make sure the canvas is covered with paint totally so that when I paint on it with oil it'll be all good and sealed and blocked in. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to end this one. And we'll come back to this with the second part, which will be in oil. Have a good day.